Now let's discuss signs of subendocardial ischemia on EKG, which may be seen in patients presenting with unstable angina and then STEMI. Both unstable angina and STEMI may have changes on EKG. However, by definition, unstable angina will have negative biomarkers such as CK and B or troponins, whereas NSTEMI will have positive biomarkers. Remember that normally ST segments are usually isoelectric and the T wave is normally positive in all leads except AVR where it is negative and in lead V1 where it may be positive, negative, or biphasic. As previously mentioned, unstable angina and NSTEMI are due to subendocardial ischemia caused by plaque rupture and thrombus formation and incomplete occlusion of a coronary artery. The subsequent subendocardial ischemia will only affect the repolarization period and may manifest on an EKG as ST segment and or T wave changes. The changes which will commonly be seen are hyperacute T waves or peaked T waves, T wave flattening, T wave inversion, and or ST segment depression. The third universal definition of myocardial infarction published in 2012 defined significant ST depressions as new horizontal or downsloping ST depression greater or equal to 0.05 millivolts in two contiguous leads.